There is huge uh, misrepresent, underrepresentation of women, and we have evidence of that within the top echelons of the university. So, what we're doing now is going to try and have gender parity across the university. There's approximately 51% of women uh, at lectureship level within the university, and yet oh, less than 25% of them have full professorial uh, recognition or are professors in our higher edu- education institutions. So I am worried about what's going on and I'm worried for our young girls and our young lads actually that we're sending to college. They don't have role models. They go into these bastions of, uh, you know, of uh, intellectual strength and, and what are there they any, see is they don't see are women there. Are there any institutions are more offending? There are some, and I'm not going to call them out over the radio, but there's one particular institution at 13%. Um, there's been why, a num- why are you not calling them out? Is it Galway? <laughs> yes. All yeah, right. OK. Now, to be fair, you know, it ha- is changing. How robust is it legally? I believe it's very robust. Uh, we've authoritative legal advice from the Attorney General. We also are, are you know, uh, very confident that EU case law will stand up. This is a balanced approach. This is uh, constrained, it's curtailed, it's confined for 15 jobs uh, for the next three years, 45 jobs which will, ha- you know, which will be disruptive, which will address the inequality in the in the system.